Congress begins its summer vacation this weekend, facing heavy criticism for the many things it hasn't done this year. But lawmakers did pass one important bill this week, a toy safety measure that some say is long overdue. Nancy Cordes looks at the new rules. If 2007 was the year of the recall, Congress hopes 2008 will be the year parents regain their trust in toys. The powerful new bill bans even trace amounts of lead in toys for children 12 and under. Bans controversial chemicals called phthalates in certain toys and products. And those three-wheel all-terrain vehicles, those are banned too. The bill also requires that a whole range of products, from toys to cribs to car seats, undergo independent third-party testing before they are sold. Most consumers thought that someone somewhere was testing consumer products. There was some stamp of approval, either the government and someone else, and that was not necessarily happening at all. The bill was a rare bipartisan slam dunk. Congress motivated to act by a slew of recalls and illnesses. Children who ingested lead charms, powerful magnets, even poisonous aqua dots. The gumball machine trinket Colton Burkhart swallowed when he was four turned out to be 39% lead. Was there a point at which you thought he might not make it? Yes, actually there was. He was actually diagnosed a couple of times with the stomach flu. Um, and then when we finally found that he had lead intoxication, his lead level was fatal at that point. Now, an agency many parents hadn't even heard of before the recalls started, the Consumer Product Safety Commission, will get more funds and more authority to oversee toy safety. This watchdog ag agency over 18 years turned into a toothless old mutt that slept night and day. The toy industry will now have to move quickly to comply, and the changes won't necessarily come cheap. The potential payoff, a boost in sales and reputation. We feel terrible that uh, we have, in some respects, lost the confidence of some consumers. Toy makers hope that by next holiday season, those recalls will just be a bad memory. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, Washington.